the foundation of the tune in my mind, I was trying to, uh, to find a common ground between the blues and the diminished scale. Because I realized that at some point that the blues scale is, I'm sorry, the blues scale is, uh, and sometimes, you know, you leave out the fourth and just play that tritone sounding thing. That kind of thing. And, um, and then I realized, okay, well, the diminished scale is right there in the same position, but with more notes, obviously. And, and I thought, wow, you know, you know, if, I, if you were playing over that progression, you could, you could play blues over it, you know. So um, I thought, wow, it might be cool to have it with a blues, a traditional blues progression, you know, like a jazz blues, but without getting too, I didn't want it to have too many changes like a, like a serious jazz blues. I, I knew I wanted it to be more simple than that. So I put like a gospel turnaround in it, you know, where it's like a uh, four to the one, you know. And then back to the four, and then a one six. And then instead of doing, you know, you know, the, the, all, the two five in that sense with the altered, you know, with, and I wanted it to be more of a gospel turnaround, like. See what I mean? Uh, where, it, which basically is just, uh, so it'll go the one to the six. And then a typical minor seven two chord, not a dominant one, you know. And then I'd put the uh, the four chord over the five chord bass note, which is basically, you know, it's E flat over over F, uh, or like a dominant eleventh kind of chord, you know. Uh, and then it resolves real nice back to that diminished part, you know, coming out of you know, you know. So I felt like, okay, now I got two sections, you know, where I can go between the, the typical um, blues type thing and then that diminished part, you know, right. kind of, that's kind of the basis of the tune, what it was, what I was searching for. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> repeats the same thing again. Okay, three, four. the first half. Okay, here, here's the second half. Now, the, the idea is uh, there's chromatic things in there, but it's basically coming out of uh, that's, that thing. There's a little uh, chromatic. That's a little, you know, you know, little chromatic connections, but but it's still based out of that scale. Um, so that's that's the whole head that goes over the these this part right here. It's just typically like I look at this scale as a three or four note per string scale, and and. Uh, and I thought, what would happen if I, if I, not to play the entire scale on two notes per string, but just leave out the one, leave out the third note. Yeah. Like, so instead of going, I just ended up with. And so it's just like a partial of that scale. And, um, and so I found that to be kind of intriguing. You know? That 
kind of a thing. And, and, uh, and then you, you get an idea like that and mix it with, and then go back to the normal fingering. That kind of a thing. And then maybe mix in some chromatic stuff, like you were talking about, like uh, something like that. Or if you're looking at it, three notes here, three notes here, you could think like, uh, and then, and then, see, because the scale goes, so you could go, you could target that note chromatically and go, and then you could target this note chromatically and go, you know, you know, that kind of a thing. That's kind of the idea I was shooting for out of that.